British Empire is at war. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. I think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. <laughs> I think I'll work. If not whatever and i'm currently at war with myself right now because i'm ill so if i sound really husky and hot that's why i'm just out of breath from walking back from the green screen i look like a green screen inside right now because i'm ill my freaking ass cheeks are just literally just dripping if you live under a rock or a group of pebbles or you're stuck in a well then i'll give you the breakdown No, not that kind of breakdown. The British Army Chief, Sir Patrick Sanders, has called for Britain to train a citizen army in case of war against Russia in the next 20 years. They've said that citizens might be legally obliged to fight in the war. And to that I say, I'm not in the mood. Fuck off, please. Side note, in case anyone is actually worried about this or anxious, don't worry. The actual likelihood of conscription is very low and even Downing Street themselves said this won't happen. So put your mind at rest, have a bath or if you're short run yourself a nice hot sports direct mug or something have a glass of milk grab a grape and watch this with me let me show you the new generation's response to conscription and when i say new generation i'm just referring to the younger people who would be conscripted if it ever happened okay it's quite a broad group with all the talk of conscription the new generation have taken to social media and they've said no fucking way. And some of the responses are so funny. You know what, this is the whole reason I can't get off my phone. I just fucking cradle that shit like a, a boob and I'm just watching that like I'm absorbing all the nutrition from my For You page. But I'm actually just overdosing on like blue light and actual shit. But it just feels so good because everyone is so funny now. Oh my God, that's a grenade. Oh my God, no, you take it. You take it, fuck off, fuck off. Oh my God, that's Ellie from school. Do you, do you remember her? She used to be right bitch to us. Go on, throw a grenade at her, go on, do it. <laughs> no, do it, do it, just fucking lob it at her. Oh my God, look at that guy, he's so fit. Oh my God, now I know it's a bit of a red flag because he just blew someone up, but I'd let him blow my fucking back out any day. Is it a grenade? I don't know, what do I do? Throw it back, what do you mean, what, throw it back like that? Like, <laughs> no, no, seriously, what do I fucking do? Oh my God, why'd he die like that? Oh my God, that's embarrassing, that's... That's an ick. That's a fucking ick. The thought of giving anyone the ick is enough to put anyone off conscription, really. You turn up to training, if that's what it's called, with your uniform on. <laughs> oh, fucking ick. Look at him. Why does he look like that in that? Ew. Why is he greasy as well? You drop a bullet in the ground whilst reloading your weapon. Oh, that's just give me the ick. <laughs> Can't even reload a weapon. Oh, butterfingers. <laughs> you slip over the mud running away from your enemy. <laughs> Shall I shoot him because of <laughs> Sorry. A grenade comes into the trench. You manage to throw it back, but your technique is a bit disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking ick. Do you see the way through that? Oh God, he can't throw a ball. Oh, do you know what's even worse? Imagine a grenade comes into the trench and you want to be a hero, so you dive on it, <laughs> but it doesn't explode. Guys, don't worry, I've got it. <clears throat> They're my family, I love them. Oh, that is awkward. Oh. Oh, that is an ick. He's just still on the floor. It didn't even explode. Oh, that is an ick. Pachow! Comment to get Bacheling of the Week. All you have to do is comment down below and you get Bacheling of the Week on the next episode. Like the video. Um, I've got no fucking energy for this. I wonder what conscription is going to look like now. Maybe you'll just be scrolling through your For You page and there's a video from the army. And it says, interact with this post three times if you want to stop the war. And after you do it, you just get a DM that says, oops. You're ours now. <laughs> That's you conscripted. Shouldn't have interacted. Or maybe it's a poll on the British Army's Instagram saying, uh, do you want war? If you put no, then you get a DM saying, you're locked in. You're fighting with us. We're American now, apparently. And you've got no choice. You've just been conscripted, bitch. Conscription just won't work anymore because the new generation is too informed. I use the word informed because we have access to everything at our fingertips using this this thing. And I guarantee if the same social media framework and phones and everything existed pre-World War II, then they would also be too informed and conscription wouldn't have worked. This generation is no smarter than the last. We just are, we're just more informed. That's all it is. What's that? I'm being, oh no. I'm being conscripted. I would have actually loved to. I would have actually loved to, but I have just 
a pigeon has just flown into my window. And uh, it sent me into a spiral. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Send the year sevens. All of them. If they do try and conscript me, all I can say is good luck finding me. Because I'm going to be hiding in a bush outside the back of Cineworld. <laughs> You're not gonna fucking find me there, are you? And there's people talking out on social media, mainstream media, saying that if you deny conscription, you're pathetic. I'm done with yeah. whiny young people that are so weak and pathetic nowadays. They need to step up. I think national service should come back. And I think it should be reminiscent to peacetime national service in 1949, where we were conscripting 18, uh, 17 to 21 year olds. First of all, this year? <laughs> you go ahead, Ryan, but you're gonna be eaten with a knife and fork. People like Ryan have been saying we need conscription for national service, and some extremists have been saying stuff like, You're pathetic if you don't answer the call for conscription and fight for our country. If we didn't have it in World War II, then the Nazis would have killed us all. Newsflash, there wouldn't have been a World War II without conscription. How do you think the Nazis had an army? The point is, conscription is bad because war is bad. And so, rebelling against conscription and war is not bad. It's okay to say that conscription is stupid and you don't want to be conscripted. Why would I fight for a country when I can't even get a Freddo for 5p? Trust me, you don't want the new generation on the front line anyway because you just might as well be dead. You'll end up with one trench full of influencers. Half of them are doing, like, get ready with me for war. Yo, welcome back to episode two of Get Ready With Me for a full day at war. Starting with the top. Hello, motherfucker. Half of them will be those tripod warriors who like set up a tripod, play some Drake, and they just film themselves doing like mundane tasks. But, but they'll be in the trenches, like this. Another half of them are doing live streams. Wow, thanks for the rose. Wow, thanks for the rose. Wow. And then another half, and there are this many halves, I think, I'm so stupid, you can't conscript me. Another half are twerking. Then you've got uh, the trench over, which is just full of TikTok commenters. So all you'll hear coming out of that trench is, <laughs> oh, not me going to war, not me in the trenches. <laughs> oh my God, he was such an easy kill, that is such an ick. <laughs> the way I just reloaded my weapon. They're getting shot at, don't walk, run for cover. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like, oh, that's funny. That's funny. I came up with that. That's why it's funny. And then you have Gen Alpha who thought it was going to be like Fortnite. Uh, they try to build and then they die. And then you've got the ones that do survive and they're just doing the gritty over their friend who they've just killed because they thought friendly fire wasn't going to be on, but that's been patched. War just won't be like it used to. Damn. Damn. I wrote damn in the script. So I've got to say damn and blast without the blast because it's changed. Unfortunately, the truth is, war is not about the Russian people fighting the British people over the love for their country. War comes about because the leaders in charge have a disagreement, and instead of fighting for themselves, they use their pawns, which is us, to fight and convince us we're fighting for our country. The sad reality is that innocent people have to fight each other because if they don't, there will be consequences for refusing. And that is essentially war. I really think conscription won't work, and even if it did, we'd be doomed anyway. So if war is declared, send the nukes. We don't deserve a planet anyway. God, that was poetic, wasn't it? That was poetic, I think. I think that was poetic, I think. And that is the end of the video. Gen Z is ready for war. Thank you for watching another video. Um, if you're enjoying these like video essay style videos, I think the last four or five have been in this format rather than a reaction. Let me know. If you want more reactions, let me know. I will do more reactions. There are some videos that I can react to. And yeah, like the video, comment. Like I said, if you comment down below, you can be bacheling of the week next week. You'll come up in next week's video. Put a picture of me on your story. Maybe I'll reshare it to my story. That's me posing for the photo.